Former President Donald Trump's legal team has submitted two requests to Judge Aileen Cannon in his ongoing case involving classified documents. This move follows a recent Supreme Court ruling on presidential immunity, which clarified that while presidents are protected from legal scrutiny for their official acts, they are not shielded from scrutiny for private actions. This decision has significant implications for Trump's defense strategy in a federal case concerning his alleged efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. On July 5, 2024, Newsweek reported on Trump's legal team's petitions to Judge Cannon. These petitions are part of a broader strategy to navigate the legal challenges arising from the Supreme Court's ruling. The decision has sparked controversy among legal scholars and analysts, who argue that it weakens critical safeguards against potential abuses of presidential power. By distinguishing between official and private actions, the court aims to balance presidential immunity with the need to hold leaders accountable for their personal conduct. Trump pleaded not guilty last June to an indictment related to his handling of classified materials at Mar a Lago. This case has garnered intense scrutiny due to its implications for executive authority and accountability. The Supreme Court's decision has drawn widespread criticism from legal experts, who contend that unchecked presidential immunity could undermine democratic norms and institutions by shielding presidents from legal scrutiny for actions that may violate established laws and norms. In response to the ruling, Trump's attorneys have submitted specific requests to Judge Cannon concerning the handling of classified documents in their client's case. These requests are part of ongoing efforts to navigate the complex legal landscape surrounding presidential immunity and the broader implications of the Supreme Court's decision. The controversy surrounding Trump's case highlights broader concerns about the separation of powers and the limits of executive authority. Legal analysts have pointed out the potential ramifications of the Supreme Court's ruling, suggesting that it could set new precedents for future presidential administrations. The decision's impact on the balance of power between the executive, legislative, and judicial branches remains a subject of intense debate and scrutiny. Judge Cannon's role in adjudicating Trump's case is particularly significant in light of these developments. Her decisions on the handling of classified documents and procedural matters will play a crucial role in shaping the trajectory of the legal proceedings and the broader implications for presidential accountability. As the legal proceedings unfold, both the public and the legal community will closely monitor how Judge Cannon navigates the complexities introduced by the Supreme Court's ruling. The outcome of Trump's case could have far-reaching implications not only for him but also for the interpretation of presidential powers and immunities in future legal challenges. The Supreme Court's decision on presidential immunity has sparked intense debate and scrutiny, raising fundamental questions about the balance of power in the American political system. Trump's attorneys' recent actions reflect ongoing efforts to navigate the legal complexities surrounding allegations related to the 2020 election and the handling of classified information. As the case progresses, its outcome will likely shape future interpretations of executive authority and accountability under the law. In summary, Trump's legal battles continue against the backdrop of a landmark Supreme Court ruling on presidential immunity. The court's decision has ignited significant debate. Among legal scholars and experts, with critics arguing that it weakens essential safeguards against potential abuses of presidential power. Judge Cannon's rulings on the handling of classified documents in Trump's case will be pivotal in determining the case's outcome and its broader implications for presidential accountability and the separation of powers. The ongoing legal proceedings will be closely watched, as their outcome could set new precedents for the interpretation of presidential powers and immunities in the United States. Former